Hello, my name is John and today we're in the cockpit of the Mirage 2000. In this video we want to take a look on how to uh, drop bombs using the CCRP mode, which stands for Constantly Calculated Release Point, or easier, a level flight bombing mode. Anyway, let's get started. And first of all, uh, let's take a look on which bombs are available for which mode, because in the Mirage 2000 the bombing mode depends on the bomb you have loaded. Certain bombs can only be dropped in CCRP mode, while other bombs can only be dropped in CCIP mode. So for CCRP mode we have the Mark 82 unguided freefall bomb, as well as the GBU-12, GBU-16 or GBU-24 laser guided bomb. And all the other bombs can only be dropped in CCIP mode, while those mentioned bombs can only be dropped in CCRP. So, as we have loaded Mark 82s, we will have to drop them in CCRP. So let's get started with setting the aircraft up. First of all, we want to make sure the radar is either on or in standby. I will put it on. Then we want to enable the master arm. And we want to select our weapon down here. MAG is the magic, RP is the cannon, and BLI is our Mark 82. Now you can see the modes up here changed as well. And we got three option, uh, options. TESS is uh, using the radar, as you can see the screen went black. TESS is using the radar to get the slant range down to the target and to calculate the release point. And uh, this is the most accurate mode of these two, because the other mode, the RS mode, is using the radio altimeter to calculate slant range. And um, the radio altimeter option only works on flat terrain because uh, if there is elevation ahead of the aircraft, the radio altimeter cannot uh, know that. So for this flight we will use the test mode. Also available, uh, not in open beta, but at a later point, is the PI mode. And the PI mode is using the INS with a pre-stored target waypoint, or a waypoint you entered during the flight, to drop a bomb on that. Uh, we will do a video on that as soon as it gets available. And uh, one last thing over here, we have another weapon control panel, and here we can select the ripple quantity, and we want to drop all of our six bombs we have loaded at the same time, because we're engaging our runway, and we want to make sure that the runway gets disabled. You could also select the distance between the individual bomb drops, however, that is unfortunately not working as of yet, so we will leave that on zero. Okay, now you can see the HUD symbology changed, up here we have the CCRP release queue, let me zoom in on that, and that will be used for a couple of different things. First of all, it will be used for selecting the target, because obviously we have to input the CCRP target into the computer before. And uh, we will have to maneuver the aircraft and bring it over the target and then lock the target to enable our target. Once the target has been enabled or locked, um, this queue gives us guidance. There we will there will be two lines appearing, which we will have to follow with uh, the CCRP release queue. And at uh, the last point, um, it also will give us the information when we have to hold down the trigger, because a line will be moving up, and um, once the line crosses that center of the CCRP release queue, we can press down the release button. So let's get started. Let me disable the autopilot, here we go. And let's select our target. And uh, as you can see down there, we have uh, Coboletti Airfield. We will bring the nose down gently. And uh, we will use the radar lock button, or target lock button as it's called, to get the mark on the airfield. Uh, as you can see, we're a bit too far out. This only works at a certain distance. So we already place it here. Huh? Hold on, let me just get up. And this is a bit of a problem currently, between tries the system does not reset, so here we go. Hopefully it works now. Just uh, reselected the mode. Oh, not, not as okay, yeah, we are a bit too far away to select our runway target point. I just bring up the nose so we don't lose too much altitude. Wait a couple of seconds and try again. And as you can see, the radar can only lock at uh, a certain distance. So you cannot lock over 200 kilometers away or something like that. Okay, let's bring the nose down. Hopefully this works this time. 
Okay, that was a bit too far up. And uh, yeah, perfect. You have the mark on the runway beginning. And now as you can see, there are two more lines extending outwards from the CCRP release queue. And that's our guidance. If I turn a bit, uh, they get a bit separated and we have to maneuver the aircraft to get uh, the CCRP release queue level with them. So that's good. On the right side of the hut, we can also see the distance to target. Currently 9.4 kilometers. And we want to make sure that our CCRP release queue is level within those two lines. Okay, from right a bit to the left. Looking good. We're descending a bit. Pull up the nose a bit. So, should get the release line any moment, which will appear on the bottom and move upwards. There we go. And once in the center, we hold down the weapon release button. Okay. And now let me get to the outside view. Bombs are falling, I hope they hit. And I noticed that it's very hard to get them uh, lo uh, in the right distance wise. They always fall a bit long for me, I noticed. And um, I do believe that that might be a bit of a problem with the weapon control computer. And uh, that will be fixed hopefully soon enough. And as you can see, we hit, or as you could see, we hit the runway probably disable it, although it's not really looking like that in the simulator. And yeah, this concludes the CCRP bombing tutorial. And um, when self-selecting targets like you did right now, um, I found it only to be accurate on a very high distance, only be accurate left and right, not uh, distance-wise. So I would not recommend that for trying to hit a tank or something like that. Try it for big targets like runways. That might change in the future though, so I'm not too sure. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Fly safe.